parle, car elle se parle de tes yeux blasés. Princesse de la rue, sois la bienvenue dans ton cœur blessé. There is a culture here of uh, street music. This is one way of being a musician. I particularly like this way. I got that spirit in me. I'm gonna lay down that burden. Down by the river side. Down by the river side. Down by the river side. Lay down the river side. Down by the riverside, down by the river side, down by the oh, I'm gonna put on my shiny crown. Down by the river Playing on the street, it's just it's an immediate reaction. The people can stop if they want to. If they don't, that's cool. People a lot of times dance. It's great. On a nice day, I mean, I can't really, I can't think of anything I'd rather do than just. I mean, play on the street, I mean, this bridge, I mean, the, the scenery, the architecture. But once I was playing, uh, playing around midnight in the, in the subway, and uh, this guy walked by and just threw lots of money into my case. And uh, he says, uh, he goes, you know, what are you playing? I was playing around midnight. And he goes, what are you playing that song down here for, you know? And he goes, uh, I don't know if you know who I am, but my name's Dizzy Gillespie, and tonight I'm playing at uh, this place called The New Morning. Why don't you come and play that song with me tonight? So I did, and Kenny Clark was there, and Paquito de Riviera was playing saxophone with him, and it was because of the street, you know? Like, like I said, you never know who's going to come by. This is truly my spot, right here. They're not like a club, in a club where they're talking and kind of blah, blah, blah. I don't like that. Here, it's like, they're only here, they stop, they want to hear you, what you're doing. Actually, it's better than clubs because, for one, you make more money. And two, you don't have a boss. I ain't gonna study war no more. I ain't gonna study war no more. interested in the gypsy jazz scene and I got told Paris was quite huge for that so I thought I should come over and check it out and I'm just traveling Europe in general for about seven and a half months so the main reason that I bought my violin is so I can get money for food and money to get to the next country so it's been a blessing really <laughs> because um, yeah I've been able to live in Paris for three weeks which is amazing <laughs> The most I've done here in two hours is 60 euros, which is great, but then the next day I did two hours and I only got 20, so it depends where you are, it depends what the weather's like, how many people are around, what day it is, so many variables. I like it and I've met lots of interesting characters. It's the perfect way to really see a city. Like you can go, you can be a tourist and you can go to a city and you can see the sights, but to stand there and to witness everyone that's walking past and like uh, that's, that's such an amazing thing because um, everyone's so different and it's a beautiful way to see it and I have this idea that um, to every country I go to to get a, a lesson in their traditional form of playing. <laughs> I knew that was gonna happen. I knew it! You can, you can see when someone's really interested and someone's uh, um, quite intrigued by it and it's, it's a beautiful thing because music is uh, it's just amazing to me and it's so um, such a blessing that I get to share what I know with people like uh, and when they smile and they say thank you and, and that they really like it like that's that's all like if I busked all day I didn't get any money but every person said that they really appreciated what I was doing then that would be enough you know but money also would be good <laughs> because I need to eat
say it when it's okay? All right. Okay. La musique, la musique jazz manouche, en tout cas, j'aime la partager à Paris, j'aime faire ça à Paris ici. Les gens sont attentifs à ça et ça touche. C'est le but et cette villa nous permet d'être à proximité aussi des gens, d'être très proche d'eux. C'est pas un concert, c'est pas, pas un restaurant non plus, c'est pas de l'ambiance, c'est vraiment donnant-donnant. Les gens sont là et nous on leur rend. C'est ça la belle histoire. La belle histoire. En fait, jouer dans la rue, c'est une très bonne école pour chaque musicien, quel univers qu'il vienne. Euh, en fait, quand on joue les standards qu'on travaille et qui ne sont pas forcément connus, ça attire pas grand, à, à vrai dire, ça attire pas grand monde. Mais quand on joue vraiment les pièces que tout le monde connaît, c'est forcément like a minor swing, like... So it's everybody's come and... Uh... Et, et là, c'est vraiment euh, le rush, c'est « lots of money for us <rire> ». Je pense que la ville déjà inspire beaucoup parce que Paris, c'est Paris, c'est une ville qui a une forte histoire culturelle et musicale. Et, euh, mais sinon, Paris, il euh, y a beaucoup, beaucoup de grandes places, la place des Vosges, Montmartre, euh, ici. Euh, sont des fortes places là où les gens jouent régulièrement. C'est sûr, c'est sûr, parce que quand tu as une très belle femme qui passe devant toi comme ça, et qui est juste devant toi, alors c'est hein, alors tu, tu es obligé de jouer le mieux possible de, de toi-même, sinon, sinon elle s'en va et elle passe. Grâce à la rue, et ça, ça nous a amené sur des très belles expériences, magnifiques. Et voilà, on va continuer parce qu'il parce qu y a toujours des moments de galère dans la vie ou dans la musique. Et euh, il faut toujours s'y confronter à la rue. Quoi. came about by chance, why not move to Paris, see how things go. There's some things, there's some bits of music and there's some paintings and some films and various things where you see them and they, they just touch you like deep inside more than any anything ever could and for me it's it's always been music that's been the thing that does that most often and you can listen to a record or listen to somebody live and and they'll just speak right, right to your very soul, you know, and there's, there's no kind of pretense and there's no lies and messing about of regular life. It's all just straight from some unknown place into your soul. The other member of the band is always the audience and the people passing by and, you know, it can make a big difference. Bonjour, Monsieur Papado. Avec sa caméra I met Ken, he was a cook in a restaurant
restaurant here in Paris. We started playing together. Then he left the country. He, now he lives in California. He's visiting. I like to play here. I like to play in front of the Espace Blanc Monteau. Yeah, everybody has a story. And you too, by the way. We get paid by people's love and money. The two. You can't live without one, can't live without the other. La, la rue, c'est la liberté. En principe, je ne joue pas les morceaux que je compose ici parce qu'elles ne sont pas connues. Et si elles étaient connues, je ne jouerais pas sous le pont. Je jouerais à la télévision. Je l'ai fait subir. J'ai branché mon panier de fin. Je l'ai chanté pour toi. Je t'ai appelé au téléphone. Mais ça ne répondait pas. Oh, oh, oh. Ça peut m'apporter la santé, mais le jour où j'arrête mes activités physiques, ça sera, la fin se rapproche. Ce sont plus, plus livres, beaucoup plus livres si je joue avec, avec les costumes. Et donc il s'approche à l'accordéon, le regarde, il l'écoute. C'est toujours une surprise et surtout pour les enfants, ils vont, ils vont chercher toujours la, la tête de l'accordéoniste. Et parfois il y a que, quelqu'un qui dit il faut, il faut lui donner de, de l'argent parce que pour que puisse s'acheter une tête de nouveau. Le fait d'être euh, basque, pour moi c'est vraiment une, euh, une, une sensation vraiment, vraiment forte. Donc euh, je peux dire vraiment que la, que la, que la rue euh, brûle. Euh, je ne peux pas expliquer vraiment euh, avec beaucoup de, 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 de mots, mais et, et, et quelque chose de... De toute façon, c'est vrai, il n'y a pas une, une scène, il n'y a pas un public dans ce, dans ce salle, mais quand même, au début, c'était vraiment émotionnant. J'ai toujours eu la guitare dans mon place et j'ai toujours regardé ça avec curiosité.
Well, I came in to Paris with the idea of plane. Where? That was the question mark. <laughs> I thought in clubs, which I'm still trying, you know, to get some gigs, some some clubs, pubs, and stuff like that. So I got something going there. But for the moment, I left to I left to le earn my living as well. Then uh, this is one of the opportunities to do so. Then as long as I play, that's that's a main that's my main concern. Music has to be always there. Then wherever I am or where I play or as long as the music goes. contact avec euh, le public de la rue qui nous demande euh, rien, qui nous exige, nous exige rien du tout. Donc euh, c'est faire ses preuves ici euh, dans la, avant, de, avant de monter sur scène. Et puis, si, si, euh, dans la rue en fait c'est quasiment le public le plus difficile je pense parce que les gens passent et ils sont pas venus au concert, ils n'ont pas payé leur place et tout ça. Donc euh, je pense euh, si, on, si ça marche dans la rue, euh, c'est que quelque part on est prêt quoi, pour jouer. Euh, on joue avec plein de gens différents dans la rue, tu ouais. peux jouer avec n'importe qui, pas besoin de connaître des morceaux, on joue avec des musiciens et puis tout se recoupe. Busking was illegal officially in Paris, but I've busked all over the world. To me, this is a concert, and it's a concert for hundreds of people a day, but never all at once. And for me, it's more enjoyable. It's just an exchange of energy in a way. Paris has something to it that I can't even describe. It's something that I love Paris. Maybe I'm in love with Paris. Maybe it's that. It's something that, you know, it's hurt me a lot too because it was really hard. And I went through some really, really tough periods. And why, why didn't I leave? But I'm asking myself that question now, like what kept me here? There's something, there's some attraction to Paris that, that keeps me here. And even now, um, I know that if, even if I go away to another city or another country, uh, there's, there's something, uh, like a, an attraction, uh, something that's luring me back to Paris that will probably always be there. There's a human connection that I, I sort of need. And if I don't busk for a few days, I really, I crave it in a way. It's a way of interacting with my environment and a way of living spontaneously. It's a precarious existence for sure. I'll always be a busker, a Sunday afternoon busker. Or I think I couldn't go all week without playing on the street. Sans lune, je pleure à la brune. Mon rêve est bas. 